the lawsuit update with P. Diddy. His lawyers are nasty with the way that they are fighting hey guys it's more of morally hopefully you guys are all doing well today back again with another video if you have not subscribed guys click that button for daily and consistent content subscribe to the channel comment down below head over to my instagram at morad underscore morali shout out to everybody who showed love my recent picture and shout out to so many of you who followed on my instagram like i was touched by it for sure so subscribe i feel like my lips are a little bit discolored guys but i absolutely went to town on these m&ms so that's probably why so i do apologize but anyway we have an update court documents have been released in regards to p diddy and what is going on now this is interesting because we're only really getting updates from the latest lawsuit um with the 17 year old you know allegedly he was r-worded and trafficked between state lines the other two lawsuits prior to the cassie ones we haven't had any updates in regards to what is going on but anyhow Court documents have been released. Of course, you know, looking at this is very interesting. Jonathan D. Davis, attorneys for Sean Combe, Daddy's House Recording Studios. So basically, PDD's lawyers are fighting back quite nasty with this case. They're going to file their opposition to the plaintiff proceeding anonymously next week. So they are more worried about this particular plaintiff being, being anonymous. Diddy's lawyers are fighting for the fact that she needs to be exposed, her identity needs to be exposed, which I don't think needs to be the case because if she already has so much trauma from the situation, you know, if she's gone through it, which I believe she is, putting her public identity out there is going to put her life at risk in every single way. And that needs to be taken into consideration and always is. But get this, then Diddy's lawyers are going to respond to the full lawsuit by February 20th is what these court documents also state which basically means, guys, that this is going to most likely go to trial. It's going to be, you know, in a position that will go for a while. It's going to be dragged out for a very long time. But they are trying to get to the victim's identity announced first. They want to break that down. Now, his lawyers are fighting nasty, but those are PDD's lawyers, and that's what they're going to do. They're paid to defend him. So they're going to fight nasty. But this court lawsuit is going to be very interesting that, you know, instead of them agreeing... They've obviously not agreed, as was um, revealed in the previous court documents, but they're also going to be filing an opposition to what Douglas Wigdor is doing for his client, and then they're going to respond to the full lawsuit properly by February 20th. Why are they dragging this out to February 20th? Why are they responding to this lawsuit February 20th? Something else happening between that time that is more important? Do they not have the right things to say? You know, are they what are they planning? What are they concocting? I just find it weird that it's being dragged out. This particular lawsuit, which came out three weeks ago, End of November is being dragged out to mid end of February for them to even respond to it over three months. Why do they need so much time? It's giving panic. It's giving, we don't know what to do as lawyers. It's, in, it's giving to do, you know, like, did he, you're effed in the situation. Therefore, they're trying to buy time because for Douglas Wigdor to represent this client, get this lawsuit out there and filed, and then also file, you know, a particular petition to, um, not petition, sorry, file to get their client to be anonymous all within a couple of weeks you know speaks volumes so his lawyers i don't know what's going on here guys it's very confusing to me but this is an update that they're dragging this all out by february 20th to me it looks like that they're perhaps dragging this out because you know they're not going to settle diddy doesn't want to settle he wants to take this to court i think he wants to take one of these lawsuits to court in some kind of way to show to other people that this is you are not going to have me as an easy ride with the cassie stuff and the fact that he settled I believe real victims, in my opinion, are coming out and therefore want their settlement money because of what they went through. They're like, wait, Cassie got 30 million for what she went through, but you put us through the same thing too. I want some. I thought that's the attitude, which is why it's given confidence for people to come forth. I'm not saying that these people coming forth are greedy. They're not greedy. They're entitled. They're entitled to conversation due to significant mental suffering, in my opinion. So they're entitled to do what they do. But I think that he's going to drag one of these out in the courts to show it as an example. But Guess what his lawyers seem to be doing? These are court documents that have just come out a couple of hours ago in regards to this latest case. I thought I'd make a quick five minute video. Please do subscribe to the channel, guys. Click that button, I would appreciate it. Please subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. It's just one click. Head over to my Instagram at Murad underscore Murad, the bios and below. Let's try to get a 60K, guys. Subscribe, and I'll catch you guys soon for another video.